Okay guys, welcome back to today's action. Today is going to be very, very exciting. We're going to bob your bubbles by showing you some actions that you may have been expecting but you may have been doubting some things about such actions. But quickly, I want to remind our first timers always subscribe and hit the bell and leave your comments and for our esteemed subscribers we say thank you and thumbs up so straight to what we're about to do today first thing first about self-defense has rules guiding self-defense so if you must be a complete or if you must be able to beat your hand on the chest to say i can defend myself you must know those rules now and the rules concerning weaponry is also attach rules of self-defense and rules of weaponry is like intertwined now we are now talking about weaponry now rules of self-defense of weaponry now if like turn around it has a weapon behind it okay now that's where we're heading okay before then you are here and an opponent comes to you and is approaching you as a well-trained self-defense person and somebody who also has the knowledge of weaponry you should not entertain anybody coming close to somebody that you feel strange about coming close to you without you see hide your hand behind this is not welcome the moment somebody approaches you with his hand behind or in the pocket you're not seeing the hand give you know your range as a martial artist you must calculate and know your range where you can take your action confidently and comfortably so you maintain that range now if he tries to approach with that hand you step back because he's trying to breach the range you are still maintaining the range okay now in the first place he should not be able to cross to bridge your range you shouldn't allow that for him to bridge your range and get to you then by, by thereby using that okay now let's assume you do not know the range and but most importantly you must make sure you see his hands okay now he his hands are there now he approaches you now how do you know that he's coming to you with something strange or he's, he's coming to you is is dangerous now from his tonation he's strange to you you should sense that something might happen and once you sense that something might happen you should be prepared okay before he should he could be able or before he will be able to dip his hand to the pocket or to drag to wherever to pick out whichever weapon he has with him you should be very sensitive now watch this his hands are there now you'll be a bit relaxed but the way is coming you will suspect ah why should he be coming this close he's coming close okay you see that now you understand that something something strange might happen okay now from here he takes his action and you see this ah Up and down. I see that? Ah, sir. As simple as that. Okay, now we take that in slow form so that you understand or see clearly. Like I said, you must make sure you see the hand. Now you see his hands, you are a bit relaxed, but already you know drop your hands. Now he is coming, approaching. You approach. At your time, you do what you want to do. Can you see that? Now he did something different. This time he placed the hand here and then go for there. Now the problem is not this hand, it's that hand. Hit and then go. Can you see that? Okay. Now watch this. He has taken two forms now. The first form, he just placed, left the hand there and went there. Leave the hand there and go there. You see there? That's the first form. Lock, lock, and thereby. Uh, 
you lock this hand. Okay? Alright? That's the first form. Now the second form, he places his hand here to have the range, then he goes. Now once he places the hand there, once that hand has gone there, the next thing is pa here, and then pa. immediately you lock the hand. So you see, drop. Slow, let's take it a bit slower. The first form, we go slow. Come. First form, okay. I step in. I clamp this hand in, pa, and lock here, and I push here, here. Slow. Okay. All right. Now the second form, we place the hand here. Tap here out and go with this. Lock here. See that? Right. So all these goes in a circle. Split circle. Pa pa pa. Alright? It's as simple as that. You can see his reaction. For you to understand that it's not just a joke it's a serious matter and anything that has to do with weapon there's no joke like i said you have to be sharp and smart and a very swift action and all is done okay okay now let's see this other situation now let's assume that he has already pulled out the knife without you being able to react swiftly then we we'll now see how let's see how you can handle that situation now but before he pulls it out what what is going to do now take your move take your move pop and you put you no know, be smart with it be smart with it because you have to pop and then pull okay okay all right now let's assume okay now that's a different situation now if you've watched he put the knife without stopping the knife and rush Get so in. that means you have to react okay let's assume you don't know how to react swiftly i i take my steps back okay take that same action again can you see that now i'm moving now as i'm moving he's moving now look Ooh. okay even though i miss that target that shouldn't be the target the target is supposed to be the abdomen all right this is why you must always be very sure of the technique you are picking and know where you are going to because if you take that strike here it will bring him down you have the time to now take a uh, position of the knife okay now let's watch another street move that probably you you don't actually know what is going to happen but somebody just apprehend you in this manner push you and then bring out the knife Let's see how you can handle such a situation. Okay, you are there, take your action. Craft. Okay, can you see this? Now from here, from here now, the knife is already out. And you've stepped, and it's there with the knife right in front of you. Your hands are up, as if you have surrendered. Now you give him some time and you are there. Are we there? To lock, lock and lock the hair go down. Bam! And end with that. You see where the knife is? Okay, now let's take that on slow motion. He has pushed, he has taken his first action and the knife is already out. Half and your hands are here. Okay? You're trying to pretend you've surrendered. Pretend you surrender immediately. Take a swift action by pa. pa. See that? You lock. Boom. This hand is already gone. Was the hand that brought the knife to stab you? You must make sure that you cripple the hand. All right? Okay. That's it. Okay. Now we've seen the first action of after surrendering. We've seen this. Now we want to take another move 
Now from here, you can choose to wave to this side by that all on the wrist and then lock. Mm. All right? We'll come back again. Watch it again. We are here. The same action. Wave to this side. See that? Pop here. And twist. Boom. I see this. <laughs> That's a wrist lock already. All right? We'll see go another one. That's two. So you choose which one you want to do or you, you're, you're comfortable enough to do. Now, uh, stretch the knife again. Now from here, you can choose to go this way. Pa! Alright? You see how it goes? I go slowly. Let's take a slow move on that. You pretend you've surrendered. As you twist to the side, you're twisting with pow. I see that? You lock that. You let the pow, boom, fall up and strike. And you're done with it. Okay? We are going to leave you here with this few. We'll come your way next time with some other moves. Stay tuned for our first timers. Always. Uh, do subscribe and hit the bell then for esteem subscribers we keep telling you thumbs up and for those of us that are there steadily staying tuned to us always give us the moves that you want that you demand that you wish you want to see then we will bring it your way thank you stay tuned so we'll come your way next time